Even before the summit has officially opened, heads of state embarked on the question of Libya during a meeting of the African Union Peace and Security Council on Saturday evening. In response to a question by Al Jazeera about the possibility of the creation of an African force for peace in Libya, Congolese President Denis Sassou who chairs the African Union High-Level Committee on Libya, said the idea is being discussed. We are waiting for the deliberation by the AU Peace and Security members. But personally, I believe whenever Africa speaks in one voice, it always wins battles. And I think, yes, the time has come. This Libyan crisis, this crisis in the Sahel, which poses a real menace to all Africa, gets the interest of all countries of the continent, and we think that we will have a response to it. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who is here to attend the summit, said AU representatives will be integrated within the UN mission in the Libyan capital as the beginning of a stronger role for African nations in the global effort to stabilize the war-torn country. But he made it clear that such efforts may never work if foreign interference in Libya continues. It's evident that the crisis has been seriously aggravated by the presence of forces and equipment from many other countries in clear violation of the mandate of the Security Council. I think we have to re-establish the sovereignty of international law and the conditions in which the decision of the Security Council could be implemented. Guterres' condemnation of countries that still send weapons and fighters into Libya has been reiterated by the head of the Libyan delegation, representing the UN-recognized government of national unity in Tripoli. Uh, actually, there must be some sanctions for, for, for countries and, and also for, for personnel. I mean, uh, it's only if you start sanctioning them, then they, they consider that uh, this is forbidden. You mean the countries that send weapons yes, and yes, support yes, groups? Yes. Can you, say, can you elaborate on this point? Because he condemned that and he said it is a scandal. It's not enough to just to condemn, but you have to put sanctions. The United Arab Emirates, Russia and Egypt are among countries accused of sponsoring warlord Khalifa Haftar, who's waging an armed campaign to remove the internationally recognized government in Tripoli from power. We tried to get a response from the Egyptian president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. But he refused to stop for questioning. It's now the joint response of 50 plus African leaders that the world is waiting for. Mohamed Van, Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa.